And we always uh, wanted to have kids, and because of medical reasons, we were unable to, so we decided to adopt. Two little boys, two and three, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> but soon after, Margarita noticed something concerning about their oldest son, Lee. Two weeks after they moved in, he was diagnosed with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. How was your day? Along with the Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, he also has four emotional diagnoses, which are far harder to deal with than just the physical. I was carrying him on my back 24 steps from the top all the way down the stairway, all the way down to the front stairs every day. And he would go into one of his frenzies. And I said, you know what? I need to build a room for him. I knew I needed help. I have a bunch of cousins. They helped us out financially. The church we go to, St. Leonard's, Berwyn, Illinois. I'm talking about police department, fire department. The mayor? The mayor. She just prayed that, hey, I need this, I need that. And people started coming in. We had a whole crew, essentially, to start this project. But even with all of the hard work and good intentions, there was still so much to do. We didn't have siding. We didn't have roof. Uh, we didn't have insulation. With the house half finished, the Riveras needed a miracle. And I sat in front of my computer, and God put on my heart, carpenters, carpenters, carpenters. And I typed in Carpenters Union. She was a person in desperation, um, saying she was praying for a miracle. When Keith Judkins called me, he's like, listen, there's this project that they need some help in your area. Go check it out, take some pictures, see what they need. Half of the house was gone and the inside, there was no plaster, no plasters on the ceilings. There's an addition going on on the outside. Walls were exposed. You could feel the draft coming in from the cold air. He said, I'll have a couple of people here on Saturday. He said a couple. The first thing she told me, she's like, I can't pay these guys. I want to be able to reward them some way, shape, or form. But she's like, but I can cook. But I cooked for only a couple. But Saturday came around and I had 12 carpenters outside with belts and hammers and saws. And boy, can she cook. They started helping us financially and they bought the insulation, they bought the drywall. And not only did they donate all this stuff and they came and did the work, but then they took it upon themselves to, to call the electrician's union, to go ahead and call the painter's union. You know, they didn't stop. This is where his new room is. The child needed some special uh, um, lift systems and a room to accommodate his needs. Because Margarita, the only way of transporting uh, the young man was on her back. He has a bathroom where we can wheel him in. He can take a shower. There's something about dignity and being able to take a shower. And if they think that the only thing they did was hammer here, hammer there, they did much more than that. They built more than just a room. It's not just a room, it wasn't just a bathroom, it just wasn't just a closet. I mean, for them to take on and take away from their family time to help this little boy, to help our son, that's, a, that's truly amazing.